So they talk about Windows. You have two different options. I I choose the boot camp option. Um, obviously, boot camp, you can install Windows 10 right on your Mac. It creates a second partition. You get full use of all the hardware. Apple's created drivers for Windows 10. So you shouldn't have many issues getting things like the touchpad or anything to work. Um, or you can run something like Parallels or VirtualBox or choose your own virtual machine where it's just a piece of software where you run on top of Mac OS and you can run Windows kind of inside of, um, right sitting on top of Mac OS, like in a window. Um, Parallels kind of lets you do, like from what I've read, a halfway in between, which is pretty cool. Um, but Windows is just the tip of the iceberg. <clears throat> they talk about BlueStacks, which is now free. You know, they were talking about charging, but it's an emulator for both Mac and Windows that allows you to use Android mm. apps right on the laptop, which is pretty darn nice. I've used that before. It's good. It's actually pretty good for games. So you want to get your Android game on. Um, and obviously things like the Apple Arcade run on, on, on Mac OS already. Um, and then Chrome OS, um, it's not 100% supported, but they recommend Cloud Ready Neverwhere, um, which I think we've talked about on the show before. Um, Cloud Ready and the Neverwhere software that runs uh, Chrome OS does not run, is not supported or not recommended on VirtualBox, which is a free virtual mas machine engine. Um, but they do have information on how to use um, a version of VMware um, to run your virtual, a virtual machine with Chrome OS sitting on top of it. Um, so with that being said, if you think about the number of apps they're trying to port from iOS over to Mac OS, including obviously the arcade, most of the arcade, you will be able to use um, things like Xbox, and their streaming tech with a, with Ultimate Game Pass. Um, now you can also have Android Chrome OS along with Windows. I mean, you could have one device to truly rule them all. Um, obviously, you're just going to need a big hard drive. <laughs> that's um, so, uh, that's that's so, what so I ramp up rolling. them drives. Uh, I, I actually started uh, treating so I got I got boot camp on my computer, but I don't have a lot of space on because I have other Mac stuff, right? Mm -hmm. uh, on my MacBook Pro. And uh, I just, I finally got another hard drive. Did I talk about this on the show? I got another hard drive. I treat it like I do my Xbox where I have a secondary terabyte hard drive and I just download everything to it. Uh, I, I plug that in on my boot camp side of my MacBook um, and just downloaded like a bunch of Steam games and a bunch of stuff from Game Pass. And it's, again, it feels very Xbox. Um, mm -hmm. Although I think I'm not, they, I have a late 2018 MacBook Pro. Like, an expensive MacBook Pro. And I believe it said it could not support... What game was it? Was it Flight Simulator? <laughs> that wouldn't support uh, the hardware? Um, if not them, it was Gears of War, maybe. Uh, but That's, su that's surprising. But yeah, that seems weird to me. It's, 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 with, it's, the, with the streaming stuff, because I think Gears is supported on the stream, isn't it? It's supported on the stream, but Chilla, uh, what happens when I'm in the Holiday Inn? And uh, all I have is the hotel Wi-Fi. It doesn't really work out for me too well. Uh -huh. So I started like I, I played Rocket League from my from my hotel the other night because I'm like I'm just gonna download these things. And I have an extra hard drive. I throw my uh, backpack, and then when I want a game on the road, um, I just do that. And then and then you know I, I can pick up where I left off in a lot of the Xbox games because they're they're mostly uh, cross compatible. Also, I am uh, currently downloading Blue Stacks on the. Uh, on the uh, show off machine right now. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> so listen, if I can play monster madness from the old mega touch machine, uh, that I had downloaded on my uh, Nexus seven, uh, then, uh, this is worthwhile. Uh, so yes. Let me, let me know how that goes. And if, if you also look up, Oh, what was it called? There's a, and it, and you know, it works perfectly. You, you have, you have a Mac with an SD card slot. Uh, I um, do not. But you have you have a some you carry around multiple hard drives. I I do. Uh, I mean, I got a com I got a converter or you know I got a adapter you know and stuff. So, but yeah. If you ch I would highly recommend checking out Open Emu 
O-P-E-N-E-M-U. Um, it's a open emulator for Mac. I Yes, I have that. And I, I think that I've, I've gotten good range, everything up through the N64. I get good until it's a CD-based um, uh, thing because I can never get the ROM file to work. Mm. So, and I'd love to play my Sega CD games. We've, I, Katie, I know we've talked about this, but be, before on the on the show, about se- getting se- Sega CDs to work, right? Yeah, you just want to play Echo. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I want to do is play Echo. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I want to play my my CD quality uh, Final Fight and uh, Lethal Enforcers again. Come on, and I have the discs, so you know. But at Echo the Dolphin, I tell you what. <laughs> I just I just liked their interface because much like a lot of the um uh what did XMB XBMC become I can't remember now Cody mm-hmm. um their library system is really really nice with automatically grabbing cover art and all kinds of other stuff so mm. um that's the one thing I like about their their setup. Yes. Yeah, for sure. 